Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm Danielle. This is our self-built sprinter van called Mo. Welcome to the inside of Mo. Uh, she took seven months to build from scratch and uh, she's our pride and joy. Um, one of the main aims when we set out on this project was to uh, build a camper van to get away for weekends and some, something, a place where we could all sleep comfortably um, for our family of four. Um, so as you can see here, um, we put in a fixed seating area where the children can sit or they can sit in the front if they want to. There's three seats in the front. So as you can see, the curtains over here, uh, I actually handmade them myself. Um, being my second project, um, the, the bunting that you see, the yellow and grey bunting was my first and they're all made on my tiny little sewing machine on my dining room table. It took me hours and hours, um, but it was an enjoyable experience. So as you can see next to the seats, we've got uh, some ports there, which are a 12 volt cigarette lighter, as well as a USB port. Um, so we can all charge our phones, um, or the children can charge their devices at ease, whether you're traveling in the van or when you're stationary. And they're all powered off uh, the solar panel uh, on the roof. So one of the main things uh, Andrew and I really wanted to create was uh, to make it quite homely um, and to create this light and airy feeling. Um, so that's what we set out to do and I really feel that we've done that. Um, it really does feel like being in a home on wheels, it's fantastic. Um, and it's a pleasure to be in. So, uh, as you can see, we've just put up little notice boards, little things like that. At the top here, we've got fairy lights, which is just beautiful on a night um, when it's all dark and you can just have the fairy lights on, it's gorgeous. Um, skylight here, uh, where we've got a net, uh, should you be uh, up in the, the Scottish Highlands, full of midges, um, and a night nightshade as well so that's fantastic and that all opens all the way up to create uh, lots of ventilation. So we went for the uh, tinted windows um, just to create a bit more privacy really and went for sliding windows on both sides just to create again a bit more ventilation because one of the main things we really want to do when we get the opportunity is go down into Europe with her so uh, the extra airflow would be appreciated. Um, so yeah, we've just added little features such as notice boards and things like that, but that will eventually become storage up there in this area here. And um, all the, the little marine lights of all these beautiful flick switches, which we absolutely adore. It's so satisfying turning the switches on and off. As you can see uh, throughout the van, well, you will be able to see shortly, is that we've actually used uh, marine plywood uh, a wood that Andrew and I particularly like and think it has a really nice colour to it. So yeah, we went with that and um, we chose a joiner in our local area who was absolutely fantastic and uh, we gave him what we were looking for and uh, yeah, he set about in his workshop and came up with the carcasses that you can see now. So behind here uh, we have a loo uh, but in front of it we really needed a bit of extra storage space or extra area to do some chopping on and stuff like that. So we created a little shelf, a little extra worktop here and that just simply flips up and then flips back down again for travel. So here we are in our kitchen area. Uh, this is my kitchen away from home and I absolutely love it. Um, really important to me being a mum of two, um, we're a family of four, so um, cooking away from home, making it nice and affordable is fantastic. Uh, fully functioning kitchen area, with, we went for a two burner gas hob uh, with a, uh, a larger ring here as you can see and a bit of a smaller one, but fantastic. Three course meal, no problem. On the other side here we've got a flip up uh, lid which has actually got a sink underneath and a mixed tap. One of the main things uh, I insisted 
uh, when we did the build was that Andrew uh, made sure we had hot water and that's actually powered underneath the sink area here by a diesel uh, espatcha heating system which is a dual system whereby uh, it powers the hot water as well as the heating to keep us nice and cosy on a night. One of the other features that we decided to put in, uh, which is a, a recent thing actually, is the little shelving unit, uh, which is lovely. It's really dinky um, and just adds a bit of extra storage. You know, it's fantastic. Another thing that I love to do when we go away uh, is to bring some flowers. It just, uh, it just makes it all look so lovely. As you can see down here, uh, we've got two plug sockets, which are 240 volts, uh, and that's powered by the inverter, which is underneath the seating area. Uh, fantastic, as we can, I can bring along a hand blender or other small, low energy uh, appliances. Um, so that really helps in the kitchen. If I want to whiz up a soup, no problem at all. One of our recent additions uh, is the little shelving unit here with the hooks, which is absolutely fantastic to just store our little bits and bobs in, um, sauces, etc., and just helps when you, you're cooking in this space. Down here we have our last storage area, uh, two drawers and a cupboard system we went for. Um, and we've got some little brass, beautiful latches on the side so nothing uh, flies out as we're driving away. Um, just got all the utensils you should need for cooking away in the top drawer and then there's just bits and bobs in the drawer below. Um, the fridge down here we decided to go for a Waco fridge and we're so pleased we did. Um, it's absolutely fantastic and well worth the money. Um, it keeps everything really cool and it has a freezer compartment in as well which is just brilliant so uh, we have little ice packs in there you know take a picnic out for the day it's just perfect next to the fridge uh, we have our under kitchen cupboard which um, houses lots of uh, different things under here uh, we've got a bottle opener there as well as the uh, water tank the diesel heater is behind that as well as the gas tank and other bits and bobs, it's fantastic. There's loads of space in there. And that's it. Moving further down the van, we have our loo here, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And the feature that we really uh, thought was very important, being a family of four, needing the loo while camping and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we just went for a porta potty with a cassette toilet. Uh, it's really easily removable and fantastic somewhere to place your waterproofs if it's raining and somewhere for a bit of privacy. Welcome to our lounge area stroke sleeping space. Um, it's a place where we entertain. It can comfortably sit uh, six people around the table and uh, it's a great place to sleep as well. You can have the doors flung open as we have today um, making it nice light airy space so you can close them in and be nice and cozy. So yeah, we've, um, we've got the bed system down below here. You just lower the table down. How it works is how you lower the table down. That creates part of the bottom base and then two of the slats uh, make up the bottom base. And these just top and bottom just simply slide together and creates a super king size bed, which is perfect. Uh, for the top bunk, uh, for the kids, we have got a little rail system here and uh, that's just simply a slatted system on the top with the same uh, design with the grey there and uh, a little ladder and that's just fantastic um, space for the kids to sleep in. The top bunk is um, king size actually so uh, yeah it's everything that we need for a good night's sleep. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. If you want to support us and help continue making our videos, then join us on Patreon from only $1 a month. See you on the next one.